Wow. Before we run out of time, I have to ask you about a recent controversy that really arose through a report that you were a part of uh, concerning Catholic Relief Services. On March 6th of this year, your organization, Population Research Institute and the Lepanto Institute, published a 130-page report summarizing your findings of a joint year-long investigation into Catholic Relief Services, carrying out contraceptive and abortion, abortion activities in three African nations. Tell us first off, what did you discover? Well, uh, first of all, I want to tell people this was a serious effort. I mean, this is a long report that took uh, us a year to compile. Uh, it is not something we undertook lightly. It's something we undertook in fraternal charity, basically in response to pleas from African bishops, uh, including Cardinal Sarah, whom you mentioned in this, who we'll mention in next week's program, uh, who talked mm -hmm. about the ideological colonization that's going on in Africa, along with Pope Francis himself. We found in looking at Zimbabwe and Cameroon and Lesotho, three separate countries, we found multiple problems with Catholic Relief Services uh, programs there. I'll only mention three. Uh, let me first mention that CRS developed and used a manual with its own logo on the front page that promoted masturbation as a form of safe sex. Now, I think believe we have a picture of this. Uh, the logo includes the logos of USAID, uh, PEPFAR, the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Reduction, and also CRS. So there's that. The second thing I'd like to mention is that CRS, Catholic Relief Services, created health referral networks that included contraception promoters. That is, in the network that CRS created, there were groups that were doing contraception uh, and doing uh, chemical sterilization through IUDs and implants and Depo-Provera, and at least one abortion promoter whose very logo is an icon of a pregnant woman with an X through her belly. Now, I, I believe you have that to show on the screen as well. I find that logo very off-putting because it, it looks like by Xing out her child, she's achieving some sort of freedom, which she's not. Um, if you're doing referrals to groups that promote uh, contraception, abortifacient contraception, and even abortion, uh, that I believe is uh, cooperation with evil. The third thing I would mention that we found CRS doing, CRS was the prime implementer, the lead implementer of a program called DREAMS, which was designed specifically to ensure the increased use of abortifacient contraception. In other mm -hmm. words, they were putting together a consortium of groups to which they would do referrals of girls as young as 10, 10 years of age, wow. who would then be encouraged to not just use condoms to prevent AIDS, supposedly, but also to use IUDs, implants, or Depo-Provera injections. Uh, well, Steve, that, how, did, how did your organization vet and confirm these findings? We had investigators on the ground. We conducted extensive investigations online and then followed up with in-person interviews in all of these countries. Interviews, by the way, that took us uh, several months to complete. And, and I would say, Raymond, we have been looking at CRS programs uh, for the last decade because there have been repeated concerns brought to us by African peace, priests and bishops about some of these mm -hmm. programs. Um, so that's, that's, that's yep. how we come at yeah, this. Yeah, when I read... When I read the report, I saw there was an archbishop of one of the countries here that you were focused on who, who is supporting yeah. this and was concerned because he said CRS didn't notify us of what's happening in the country. In fact, they don't consult with us at all. Now, prior to the publication of this report, you and Michael Hitchborn sent a cover letter and a summary to every bishop and archbishop and cardinal heading a diocese in the United States. On March 8th, Bishop John Wester of Santa Fe responded. He's also a member of the CRS board. He condemned your report. He wrote, as a former two-term member of the board of directors of CRS and a current member of the Catholic Relief Services Foundation board, I can assure you that your findings on the ethical actions of CRS are in error. CRS has consistently sought the judgment of prominent, well-respected moral theologians in those activities that may have moral ramifications. In each case, the theologians assured CRS and us board members that there is nothing being done by CRS that is immoral or unethical. Your persistent persecution of this wonderful organization, which helps millions of people every year throughout the world, is deplorable. I pray 
that you might gain the prudence to cease and desist. That was Bishop John Wester. How did you respond to the bishop's criticism and, uh, and his call to cease and desist? And have you heard from other bishops? Well, we have heard from, from Bishop Strickland, and in the past, in response to our reports, we've heard from other bishops, such as Bishop Sheridan, now no longer with us. But we will not cease and desist uh, telling the truth. Um, that's why I'm here, Raymond. Uh, that's what my purpose in life is. It always has been. And telling the truth got me fired from Stanford 35 years ago. I'm not likely to stop now. And I will not stop repeating what Pope Benedict XVI said in his motu proprio on the service of charity. He said specifically, in particular, the diocesan bishop is to ensure that charitable agencies dependent upon him do not receive financial support from groups or institutions that pursue ends contrary to church teaching. There's certainly a lot of unanswered questions, and I mean, that 130-page report does detail some activities that need answers, I think, particularly now. And, I, and the, the letter did avoid answering any of the particular charges uh, leveled here. And that accounting does, I think, need to happen. The Devil in Communist China, from Mao down to Xi, by Stephen Mosier, is available now at bookstores everywhere and online. Thank you, Steve. She is the former